Oh, I'm not out of control. You're out of control. I'm Gen Z Kelly. What are you talking about, light vest guy? I'm not out of control. So what if I'm sucking 100 dicks a week? It doesn't matter for money. <laughs> oh, uh, dating equals guys paying for me to have sex with them. I don't understand that that's prostitution. So how am I out of control? I've got the thousand cocks there. Gen Z Kelly. Oh, I'm completely dead inside. I've got seven different venereal diseases, but who cares? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk backwards oh, and get pegged. And I'm going to take $100 a shot. Oh, I'm Gen Z Kelly. Oh, see all the people out here having fun. I'm not having fun. I'm sad. Oh, but I'm acting like a bitch. Oh, you don't know any better than life than best guy. You don't know a damn thing. <laughs> I'm not out of control. You're out of control. This is the average Western woman, gentlemen. I'm over here at the pier. And the Western ladies are out of control, guys. They're really, really in a crazy spot because they don't understand how all this stuff is going to turn into them being damaged goods later on and we already have a whole series of damaged goods videos right we talk about how the little ladies are damaged goods by the way check it out there's a little uh, surf statue right here can, can you guys see that yeah surf statue but yeah the western women are completely out of control there's no doubt about it i mean they have never been this out of control it just ever ever in western history it, it's 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 gotten to the point of uh, just complete absurdity Right, you've got Karens running rampant, you got thoughts, you got freaking you got sugar babies, you got escorts, you got the whole nine yards. And by the way, I'm not knocking any of those things, I'm just saying. Holy mackerel guys. I mean it's almost it's almost entertaining seeing how out of control they are and their crazy behavior and then expecting us to rubber stamp it. Right? So <laughs> I I just it's kind of fascinating, right? Seeing their complete downfall and utter destruction. But, oh, but yeah, but they're definitely out of control. I, I just don't know what they expect from us, right? And see, here's the funniest part, is all the ones that are this out of control and running, running rampant and getting into all sorts of trouble, they're going to come to you guys later on and want to get married to you. They're going to ask for your commitment when they hit the wall, when they can't pay their bills anymore. They're already doing it, guys. You've got all these girls becoming quote unquote red pill and doing their soft girl era and all this nonsense. Guys, I stay on top of things. I know what's going on. Oh, this guy on his bike. He's the only kid on the strand without an e bike. It's like, <laughs> he's got his gas powered bike, man. That's funny. Anyway. Oh, yeah, but when they come, all. It all comes full circle, guys, and there's always consequences to your actions. And they don't seem to see, you know, they don't think that there ever is even when they're old and you want to know why because they always think that there's going to be a simp there to catch them when they fall they always think there's going to be a simp there and to a certain extent you guys may think they're right but they're not because what happens is in the west guys simps are a very very weak phenomenon it, it doesn't even simps are starting to get wind and catch wind and start to say, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. It's completely effing up their whole plan because most of them cannot secure a man, guys. The women that are the most out of control cannot secure an actual man. They can't, no matter how hard they try. And here's the funny part. Their standards have gone so high up that they literally price them out of they disqualify themselves before they're disqualified right they think that they could disqualify you before you disqualify them which is just retarded because they think that they're going to <laughs> that they even have a shot <sighs> guys it's a mess it's an absolute mess and by the way it's not like this is some sort of isolated phenomenon everybody says the dating marketplace is effed up in the West. Well, duh. There's no such thing as dating anyway. So the little ladies being out of control and then expecting to find a simp at the end of the rainbow, unfortunately, they've been lied to. They've had, they've had, they're going to have to deal with reality. And reality says 
That's not what you get at the end of the rainbow. You get a lot of bills and you're going to have to go to the government. You're going to have to ask the government for a handout, which is probably not going to happen. Right? It's highly unlikely, guys. They're going to be, have to work till the day they die. Government doesn't have money. Government's in debt. <laughs> it's just that, guys, it's just another reason why the best probable uh, course of action is if you can work remotely is to find some place most likely overseas where the cost of living is less where you can make you know American or Western money right or at least live beneath your means and have a budget and all that type of stuff but when, guys when have you ever met a woman who has ever had a budget in her entire life I have never met one, guys. Not even the fat and fugly ones. Here's what's amazing. That the fat and fugly ones, they think they have a shot at guys who are top tier. They think they have a shot. Do you understand how mentally insane that is? This is what we're... It's like... <laughs> oh, God. This is what we're dealing with, guys. Complete mental insanity. Complete mental illness. They're out of control, guys. They're out of control financially. They're out of control when it, uh, in, uh, psychologically. In every area, they're completely out of control. And they are going to have to pick up the pieces once everything, you know, hella weird. once everything hits the wall, literally. Which is that, <laughs> that's their course of action. That is their, their current course. Is straight into the freaking wall. It's crazy, guys. And they're doing it at younger, younger, and younger ages. And it's like they think that we have a problem with it. No, go right ahead. But I want you guys to be educated on how crazy they are, how out of control they are, and to avoid these pitfalls because they are going to come to you, whether you like it or not, with the handout, asking for help. <laughs> they are going to ask for help. They're going to ask you, you know, can you fix their situation? And you're going to have to tell them yes or no, which I highly advise you do not, because you are looking to be dragged down into the quickstand with them, into the pit of failure that they are already in. You know what I mean? A lot of them don't want to give up these, these, uh, these what's it called? These, uh, these privileges. They don't want to give up their leverage. They don't want to stop thotting around and going out there and going crazy. They don't want to stop any of these things, guys. They don't. And no amount of us... And by the way, I'm not here to shame them. I don't... Guys, I don't care one way or the other. My job is to make sure you guys are okay. That's my job. My job is to make sure that you guys are healthy and you have a clear mind, you have a clear head, and you are focused on your goals. And that is it. That you guys have the best shot at living the most incredible life, not your best life, your most incredible life ever. So what does that entail? Traveling, enjoying your hobbies, enjoying actually going out and meeting people that are like you. Guys, actual living, getting out into the real world and then achieving your purpose getting that guys a lot of you guys say your purpose is to just be a father nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all I, i'll never guys i'll never knock your guys purpose ever never because it shows that you have a focus that's it that's all that matters for men in their lifetime is that can you take action or can you not take action right can you get something out of this life or not and that's really what it boils down to. It's not about chasing women. It's not about validating them or them validating you. Because guys, at the end of the day, their validation means nothing. <laughs> oh man, they get so mad when I talk about this. They get so pissed off. They get out their fat little sausage fingers. And they start typing off. Oh, you know, they get they get so furious. <laughs> oh, I hate you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, it's pure entertainment. They get so pissed off. How could you say that? We don't validate you. Type, type, type. No, you don't. 
their validation means absolutely nothing. So you're probably asking yourself, okay, so why is it, does it mean absolutely nothing? Because it doesn't fulfill any of your purpose. And by the way, you can buy their validation. So what is it actually really worth? Oh, damn. Oh, the little Western ladies. Oh, they're mad now. They're typing. They're typing. <laughs> the emails are coming. They usually go to my spam folder. <laughs> they usually, st they're so stupid, guys. <laughs> What they do is they like type this angry email, right? And they'll send it to my business email. And it's usually like full of like just hate and piss and vinegar. But it actually doesn't address anything. And they're so angry. And oh no, sometimes it's like really clever. Like they'll, they'll say something nice, nice. And then they come up with a nice little dig. But <laughs> it's funny because it all goes to my spam folder. You know, <laughs> because I, <laughs> that's so stupid, man. But yeah, their validation doesn't mean a damn thing. It's absolutely worthless. You know what I mean? You you nail down your purpose. You go for that. You're living your purpose. You don't need to deal with any of that. Val <laughs> you're validating yourself. You see what I mean? And if you can literally purchase them and their validation, what does it actually mean? Absolutely. Hey, dog. <laughs> see, the dogs always agree, man. The dogs always agree. <laughs> dog ran right up to me but yeah what is it what does their validation actually mean absolutely nothing there's no actual payoff you can literally buy their validation you, you get where i'm going guys it, you, guys you're gonna be <laughs> when you guys start actually gaining uh success or even guys just a little bit of leverage like uh, guys you do i'll never tell you you need to be rich on this channel never Ever. I will never tell you to be high value and all this nonsense because, guys, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. It really doesn't. Because if you need to do that to get a garbage Western woman who is out of control, you're wasting your time. And that's, look, I love Fresh and Fit and all the Red Pill guys, but when they start talking about be your best self and all, guys, that's such a bunch of bull. Because every guy can't do that. And by the way, the vast majority of men can't do that. It's mathematically impossible. How, how are we all going to become top 1% guys? That doesn't make any sense. There's going to be a few that do it who are crazy enough, who have the drive, who have the determination, who have the, the discipline. But the vast majority will not. So what do the vast majority do? We need a plan the vast majority of guys that's why we focus you we get you on your purpose we get you kicking ass we get you supporting this channel support this channel drop a super chat drop that freaking shout out don't be cheap guys you are getting th millions of dollars worth of education over here and entertainment you support me i support you becoming the most having the most incredible life because at the end of this all, you will say that. You're going to say, hey, thanks for keeping me on the right path. Especially if you, if I've earned your trust. If you're starting to trust this channel and you're starting to say, hey, this guy's onto something. Because at the end of the day, that's who we support is the people we trust. And yeah, I know I got a small following. It's not huge. But as I get bigger and bigger, support this freaking channel, guys. Make it happen. Why did I say that? Watch. You guys are going to be watching this video when I got like 100,000 subscribers or something. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I should just, it's growing. It's getting there, guys. The bottom line is, we need that, you're not going to get validated by them. They are not going to value, they, they're not going to validate. Guys, because here, imagine for yourself, you're an average guy, right? You're just average. What the hell's happening? Oh, that guy's running. You're just an average dude and you come into some money and you start becoming very successful. Guys, very beautiful, pretty Western women are going to be all over you because of your status, because of your money, because all, I don't care what they say, they're going to be all over you and it has nothing to do with your personality. And a lot of you guys already know this. So my point is you can literally purchase their validation. Who cares? You can get LA 6, 7s, 8s, 9s, 10s, the whole gamut from all age groups. Guys, all age groups. Who cares? 
Do you see what I'm saying? The validation means absolutely nothing. When you guys actually achieve something, what you want to achieve now, that's validation. Because it means that your hard work paid off, not that you purchased some ass. And that's why guys never brag about escorts and sugar babies and all. They don't brag about getting women, guys. Because it's the lowest thing you can do on the totem pole to get validation. Does that make sense? So, understand that that is not the end-all be-all. And their validation means absolutely nothing. So, and that's why, as I've always told you guys, many times over, being a Chad in my 20s was the worst thing I ever did in my late teens, 20s, and almost up to early, almost early 30s. That was the dumbest thing I ever did. Absolute waste of time. It didn't do a damn thing. All it did was set me back generations. And now I have to I have to pick up all the pieces. I have to fix all that. I'm still fixing it to this day. I still feel like I'm behind. For uh, for real guys, I feel like I'm way 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 behind. Very mad at myself. So, one thing you need to understand is the western ladies are going to stay out of control for a very long period of time. Guys, they're not going to I get a lot of I know I some of you guys are upset about this that they aren't going to get their act together and that you have to you know go around you have to get around all this don't be upset not at all how are you suffering for them being out of control all you've done is open up a new avenue for yourself guys you have a new opportunity to stay focused I've got subscribers, guys, who make a lot of money. I've got subscribers who are tall, jacked, good-looking, and still struggling. Because it's all effed up. As far as, uh, what's it called? Relationships. Guys, that's, that, that stuff is gone. It's not coming back in the West anytime. Guys, it's not coming back in the West anytime soon. And by the way, I'm down here in the suburbs. I see people holding their hands all the time. So what? It's irrelevant. The The numbers don't lie, guys. The data doesn't lie. And right now, the Western women are out of control. They're on a self-destructive path towards the wall. And they have put their foot on the gas, and they don't care who they take with them. I don't want you guys to be a casualty of that. As you can see, I'm in a different area than I normally am. I walked way, way, way the far down. Way far down. Oh yeah, guys, but they're way out of control. And they're looking for... to. Uh, the fact that they're out of control is going to ruin your life. They're going to tear you down with them. Never forget, guys, they are chaotic creatures by nature and they will take you down if they can. They will take you down to hell. <laughs> so you really have to watch out for this. It's another reason why we go over these. These You have to be 100% positive that you're going to stay away from them. You know what I mean? Those kids back there in the parking lot, I don't know if you guys can see that behind me. It's a bunch of chicks and dudes getting in trouble, smoking weed. <laughs> Partying it up, guys. When you stick with these chicks, you're looking for trouble. They are complete. And guys, I haven't even gone. Oh, my God. The amount of drugs that your average Western woman consumes these days is not even, it, it's, it's borderline, it, it, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. The amount of prescription drugs that they're on, you know, they're, uh, the antipsychotic meds, the anxiety pills, the mood suppressants, Every, like, literally every woman I've come across, I'm like, they're either in therapy or on some sort of, it's, guys, they're really, really on a path to self-destruction. And I'm not trying to bum you out. I'm letting you know that you have to stay on, you, on your purpose, on stay the course, and stay away from them. Or they're going to take you with them. Because boy, oh boy, they're, they're in trouble. They're in real trouble, man. I, the amount of drugs that they do, recreational drugs, cocaine, weed, 
What was the other one? Molly. Guys, they're doing ecstasy. They're doing... Oh, guys, they're on all types of drugs. And by the way, they get these drugs a lot of times from dudes. From dudes that they're effing. Anything to numb their pain. Oh yeah, guys, they're out of control. They're in big trouble. They're really, really... And, and if you shame them in any way, shape, or form, or attempt to keep them on the straight and narrow, they're going to try to buck. They are going to say, they're going to buck. They are going to rebel. They're already rebelling. And there's nothing we can do to say. <laughs> it's not that, look guys, even if they wanted to be saved, we wouldn't be able to do anything anyway. Right? Because they've already destroyed their bodies. Guys, they've destroyed their minds and they've destroyed their bodies. After, by the time they're in high school, guys, they're on dating apps. Do you understand how many women? Look at this. There's a gym outside. The hell? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Do you, do you guys understand that they're on dating apps a lot of times in their early teens these days? They're literally, guys, because there's no barrier to entry. They lie about their age. They jump on a dating app and they, they look around. They mess around on there. And then they get their little minds warped and scarred. Western women are out of control, guys. On Tinder, how many kids jump on there and say they're 18 and make a fake profile and then say, oh, I can't change my age. I'm really, you know, uh, their their profile says it's 23, but they're really 19. Guys, why would there be a four-year age difference? Because they've been on that since they were 15 or whatever. Uh, 18 minus 4 is 14. Guys, they do this. Because they're curious. They're de-evolving. Coach Greg Adams came out with a great book called De-Evolution. They're de-evolving, guys. They're going back to the oldest profession in the book. Prostitution. <laughs> it's Guys, it's here. It's been here. And if you want to get with a... Guys, if you want to get married to a prostitute, a porn star, whatever you want to call it, America's the, the place to the West, Western countries, liberalized countries are the place. But as far as uh, committed relationships, oh, hell no, guys. They're literally openly talking about polygamy and polyamory. They call it, uh, what do they call it? Uh, consensual, what, what do they call it again? Consensual non-monogamy. When guys want to do it, it's sexist, and, but if women want to do it, it's perfectly fine. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? Consensual non-monogamy. They're polyamorous by nature. They're polygamous by nature. Polygyny and polygamy. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, <laughs> they're a complete... Guys, they are so far out of control. And there is nothing... There, it's, like a, it's like a freight train. Run, it's about to run into a brick wall. All we can do is just watch. <laughs> it's going to be brutal, guys. It's going to be so bad. And by the way, you guys are going to be there at the end to get your traditional foreign women. Why do I always bring up traditional foreign women? Because I always want you guys to be, know that your options are very, very, very limitless. <laughs> Their options are limited. Go back to my men have more options than women videos. They're, guys, they don't have the option. You, they try to rub your, their options in your face all the time, and they I got 800,000 guys in my team. Guys, it's all virtual nonsense. It's all virtual. In the real world, they've got one shot to get the attention from one man, guys. For example, I'm just going to use myself as an example, and I'm not tooting my own horn, but I'm not being arrogant, guys. But if I go somewhere and I dress up or I just look, you know, presentable or whatever, and I'm going somewhere, I'm going to get at least one or two women every once in a while who are going to give me choosing signals, hit on me, be interested, and they'll be decent looking because they can't help it, guys. They need to get the attention of one man. They need to secure one man. And if they find a guy attract, guys, women can't control their feelings at all. They can't control... A lot of you guys 
are learning about women on this channel, I want to teach you something very interesting. How much can women control their emotions? I want you to really think about this one. How much can women control their emotions, their feelings? For example, what if a woman was horny? She sees a guy who's six foot six and he's, you know, a basketball player and she loves black guys and he's a black guy. How much can she control her emotions? Ah, exactly. She can't. She's, guys, her body, her, her, her pussy's gonna get moist. She cannot control this biological function. That's a bio uh, biological function, number one. Number two, she cannot stop her heart from racing and for her to have feelings for him to be attracted to him to start fantasizing guys this is their this is their thought process when they see an attractive man they start fantasizing about him oh my god he's got blue eyes or whatever he's 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 ultra tall oh my god he's probably they start fantasizing he's probably uh an athlete he probably makes a lot of money and then the feelings start kicking in do you see what i mean they can't control these things, guys. They are not in control of these things. They, that's why when you see Karens going crazy and women saying, I can't control myself, they literally cannot. No matter how what they think in their head, no matter how much they push or prod or, pro, you know, they, they'll, they'll try to manipulate their own emotions, but that doesn't work. Do you see what I'm saying? And this is why it's so important for you to stay on your purpose, to stay focused on that validation your validation by your purpose and what you're doing is the most important thing on the planet you see what i'm saying their validation means nothing because their emotions change all the time it's like it's like the wind you know what i mean it's constantly fluctuating but yeah guys they literally are controlled by these things that's another reason why they're out of control their emotions have been left to run wild without you keeping them in check. It's fascinating, isn't it, guys? And by the way, this is this isn't just my anecdotal evidence. You guys know I do my research. You can look you can look this stuff up. Before all the feminist studies start kicking in, that's not true. A feminist said that that's not true, so it's not true. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, guys. The Western women are out of control. They're in big trouble. I, I used to just say it on a couple a uh, couple streams here and there, guys. They're really in big trouble. They don't understand the path. And you guys, a lot of your old, my older guys on here, you guys understand. They're in really, really big trouble, and they don't know it. Oh, they're gonna find out. They're gonna find out the hard way. It's gonna be brutal. They're gonna. <laughs> they're gonna be. They, oh shit! I better run. Oh, my legs. I'm running, but oh, my legs are crippled. Yeah, guys, they're in big trouble. You know what I mean? They think that, uh, I think that guy honked at me. <laughs> I wasn't running fast for his old ass truck. Anyway, <laughs> they're in big trouble. They don't understand what's coming. And no, they cannot control their emotions, guys. No matter what they do, those emotions are going to stay right. Yeah. And <laughs> if you guys are really sick bastards you <laughs> you would use that to your advantage you would push women's buttons and piss them off <laughs> and do all sorts of horrible things but that would be wrong <laughs> you would laugh at them to their faces you would you know say horrible things and make them emotional and manipulate them and use that to your advantage but that would be wrong don't ever do you should never do that guys you should never do that <laughs> Because that would be that would be wrong. Oh man, that's pretty fun. <laughs> that was funny. Don't ever do that, guys. Don't ever manipulate. <laughs> Body language is a trip, huh, guys? But yeah, there, these are these are some of the things that you have to consider when it comes to just dealing with these with with them in general. And it's just another reason why they're so out of control. Because they let all these mechanisms that keep them in check be pushed aside, be destroyed. 
And that's why there's nothing we could do for them. We have to let them fail. We have to let them just just hit hit the wall. So, yeah, American women are in big trouble, guys. They know it. We know it. And and that's the funniest part. They know it too. They're just so far. F- they they're pushing a narrative, guys. The whole narrative of fake it till you make it. Believe in nonsense, and maybe things will change. We already know what that means, guys. Complete delusion, complete denial, complete depression. Yeah, it, it's... Oof. This is another reason why you need to stay away from it. What happens if you stick with Western women, guys? You're going on a straightway path to self-destruction. It's happening. And I don't know. I, I, don't, I just... There's no real solution to their problem. Because guys love fixing things. I actually was thinking about it just as a challenge. If we were able to implement very specific things, would they be able to turn it? They can't turn these things around, guys, because once women get behind something very specific, especially Western women, they are never going to admit defeat. Even when they're in the gutter. And it's just women's nature. They talked about it in the Bible, uh, the story of Lilith. And what was the other one? Even Eve. Eve, and what was the other one? Nazareth, Nazarene, or there was three. There was three of them. I, I'm not. I'm not really good on the Bible, guys. I, I apologize, but there, for sure, Lilith. She was eaten by dogs in the end. Even when the dogs were eating her flesh, something, something. You, you guys, some of you guys are very well versed in the Bible, but even when the dogs were eating her flesh, she still. She still was rebellious or whatever. This is their nature, guys. And this is why we... (laughs) Once they get out of control, most guys just walk away. It's why most most guys with testosterone, masculine, whatever you want to call it, are walking away. And there's nothing you can do for them. You have to let them fail. You have to let them fall flat on their faces. There's no... There's no... There's no... What's it called? Uh getting through to them and or understand them understanding and all this nonsense no 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 those days are much 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 those are long gone you have to you have to deal with what it is (laughs) oh boy i don't even know what to say it's like and here's another here's something you guys haven't considered the fact that they need that they're not securing one man's attention right but not only that, that they, the fact that they need now to get this attention from all other areas except one man. That is completely out of control, guys. These thirst traps, thirst traps in real life, th- thirst traps online. It, it, it's so bad that they've become parodies of themselves and actual caricatures. These kind of ridiculous, almost cartoonish beings that... I've never, it's, I don't even know what to say half the time, guys. I'm at a loss for words because, yeah, see? What it, 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 it's just too much, guys. It's way too much. You gotta stay away from all that nonsense. Or else you're gonna be sucked right into it. The noises, the attention, the thirst trapping. Once, <laughs> once they, I should edit all that crap out and just, just be really like, uh, vindictive, but I won't. You know, they always have to make noise. They have to get that attention, guys. They're not getting it from... You know what's really funny, guys? Here's one of the easiest ways you can tell if a woman is single and alone is if she starts making noises like that in public. Okay? If she starts trying to get attention from you in public. Women who have men, who have... uh, Women who have boyfriends, husbands, etc. Guys, they don't make noises like that. They're quiet. They're usually quieter. A lot quieter. Because they are mesmerized by the attention of one guy. They've secured it. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, for example... Here's a, here's a perfect example, guys. When... If you notice... How come rock stars usually have fans... Uh, tons of women who are screaming at them. Have you guys ever wondered that? 
Why do women scream at rock stars in the audience? You don't see guys screaming at rock stars. It's not, it's not just because men aren't screamers. It's because the women are trying to get that guy's attention. It's the, think about it, guys. I know you guys have never thought of it, but a lot of you guys have never thought of it this way. The reason why they scream ah, is they're trying to get his attention. They're trying to secure his attention. And he's got them completely manipulated, as all most rock stars do. They're completely moist for him. They are turned on. They're, they cannot help it. Get. Their emotions have kicked in. It's a trip, isn't it? If you really, really break it down, Western women, they cannot secure the attention from one man, so they need it from every man. And by the way, they're trying... They subconsciously they don't even know they're doing it <laughs> see this is how guy we literally understand women better than they understand themselves what they're doing is they're trying to get his that one guy's attention and then once they get it they try to they move on to the next we've never really gone over this in detail but what they do is they try to secure that one guy's attention then when they get it they either try to glom him on to him and he kicks him to the side or they try to get some other guy's attention that's how they're hardwired in the west in the east, in the uh, southern states, mm. let's not even get into the southern states, but in Latin America, you know, uh, South America, essentially what you're going to get is a lot of traditional women who want to secure just one guy's attention and grab him, pair bond immediately. Pair bond immediately. No wasting time. They don't waste time over there, guys. But you're not going to get that in the West. Right, you're gonna get a lot of crazy behavior, and liberal behavior. Right? It's just another reason why traditional foreign is superior. They want to secure the attention of one guy. <clears throat> that is their sole mission. They don't care about anything else. So, yeah, guys, it's a trip. But um, Western women are very out of control. I'm surprised we haven't gone over the attention part, like in detail. But yeah, guys, they're, they're screening to secure that, you know, rock star, whoever, his freaking attention. And if they get it, you know, especially in the West, they're going to try to upgrade again. Hyper hypergamy. Oh, well, I got this guy and I got 800,000 guys. Guys, a wo when a woman gets attention, to her, that is currency. She believes she is now valued more. Even if you tell her she's a fat, disgusting whale. Why do you think they have so much self-confidence? Well, it's not really confidence. It's kind of false confidence. But this is why they're so out of control. Simps create Western liberal behavior. That's how it's always been. That's how it's going to be for a while until the simps die off, right? They can't exist without Western women, guys. And Western liberal women cannot exist without simps. They are a cohesive unit. And they will not be around forever. They won't. They can't exist in the long term, guys. They don't make enough children. But yeah, this is how their attention breaks down. That's how they... If they get, they get the attention from a couple simps, oh, they're validated. Now they think they're like a 10. I, I know, guys, it's it's insane. But attention means that much to them. It is literally their currency. Even if it's virtual, right? It's just another reason why they're so out of control and you have to just let them fail. <laughs> What's the other alternative, right? There really is no other alternative. I mean, what are you going to do? Try to talk sense? Guys, you can't talk sense into some beluga whale. Some, you know, some Rosalind pork belly. You can't, you can't. How is, how, how is she ever going to see or understand reality? You're trying, you're, you're telling her, no, no, you're a three. No, no, you're a two. <laughs> She's going to be like, what? She's like, no, I'm a 10. That's why they do. You guys are always so curious. So like, why do they think they're tens? It's because they're validated online with fake virtual attention. It doesn't matter where the attention comes from, guys. This is why they're so far gone. Their brains 
are out to lunch. And by the way, that's another reason why they are so out of control. Is because now they think they are better than they actually are. They've been, they've had their asses kissed. When in actuality, there is zero, a one, a two, a three. <laughs> I think I'm beautiful. I'm Rosalind in pork belly. I just won't die. You see, you see, Mr. Light Vest Guy, what I did was I went over there to the cantina and I got myself a chimichanga burrito. That's a deep fried burrito. And what I did was I took the sour cream and then I put, I dumped a whole a gallon of sour cream on top of the chimichanga. It was deep fried at the Mexican tan cantina right over there, Mr. Light Vest Guy. And then what I did, I took my sausage fingers and I took the cheese. You guys already know I love the cheese. And I crumbled the cheese on top of the sour cream, gallon of sour cream on top of the chimichanga. And the chimichanga, is, it went from here to here. It's that big, it was over three pounds. And what I did was I stuffed it all into my pie hole. And I had two chimichanga. It's delicious. And I gained about three pounds per chimichanga. And now I'm 407 pounds. I've actually gained six and a half pounds because I had to digest the chimichanga. So I took the donut holes, stuck them in my mouth. That's an extra half pound. So I told them almost seven pounds. It's delicious. Guys, this is what you're contending with. Rosalind pork bones. They think they're beautiful. They're out of control, guys. It's too late. Send the asteroid. <laughs> Let it just... <laughs> This is what you get, but look guys, it doesn't really matter in the long run. We have our purpose, traditional foreign ladies. You can still get hook, guys, you can still get hookups from Western women, it's just kind of a pain. You can still do um, escorts, sugar babies. It's up to you, I mean, if you really wanna do it, but I mean, I don't know. You guys are taking a massive risk. And it's just another reason why I took, I need a break guys, monk mode, I was like, these women are fucking mental. They're so, each one of them is so, holy cow, like an absolute mess. So confused and lost and self-destructive. Guys, they're so self-destructive. Guys, you know how many cutters? Guys, I, I know this, I don't wanna to get too dark. For some of you guys, I don't know if you're ready to handle this, but the amount of women who are so self-destructive these days, who actually cut themselves and they got the scars oh my god guys they, they're so it, it's so holy because they're comparing themselves to other girls online and oh my god if they're even an ounce pretty guys it is like they're so effed I've, I've never and by and you guys are like how, how do you meet them all Guys, I see them so, like out on the street. I'm very perceptive. And I can pick up if I look, like if I see a girl and, or if I talk to a girl, whatever. There's more cutters than ever with the scars on their wrists. Oh my God, guys, they're on their legs. You could see where the, oh my God. Guys, it's so dark. I'm not trying to make you guys depressed. I'm just like, oh. these women are literally out of control. The nose pierce, the fucking barbells through their face. This isn't normal behavior, guys. They're trying to hurt themselves. Oh man, I feel. Look, I feel for you, Gen Z guys and Gen Alpha. Holy moly, I feel it. <laughs> it. It's it's pretty bad. But anyway, guys, don't don't get depressed. Don't get, just let them self destruct. You have to just let them. What what what? You trying to help them? What is that going to do? How are you going to help somebody that has literally, is literally assisted to fail by society? They don't want to be saved. Do they? How many of them really want to be saved? Yeah. Whew. I forgot all about the cutters guy. Man, we just keep coming up with new content. The cutters, I forgot about them. Oh my Lord. Oh, Jesus. You do, And don't, don't get me wrong, man, guys. I, I, Sometimes I think to myself, man, I'd love to help them out too, but there's there's really nothing you can do, guys. You you. It, by the way, it's not our job to save them. It really isn't. <laughs> oh 
Holy cow, the cutters. Whew. <laughs> oh boy. Western women. What, what, how, how did it get so bad? Right? Like, <laughs> when, did, when did it get so dark and disturbing? It's like, <laughs> oh my cow. Oh man. But yeah, guys, just let them do what they're doing. Let them, let them fail. Let them fall flat on their faces and they'll fix their own problems let them fix their own problems or they'll self-destruct and we'll get a nice new crop of ladies but yeah guys it's not our job and how selfish is that that we need to do what help them after they've done all that self-destruct that's their responsibility they're going to take responsibility guys whether they like it or not because we're not helping them out we're not bailing them out good luck on that front ladies oh my god Western ladies who watch me, whoo! I hope you're, I hope you're cooking. I hope you're learning how to cook for yourselves. <laughs> Holy mac! You're not gonna be able to afford eating out for much longer because most of you girls are broke and bankrupt, and the government, the government's not coming to save you. And simps aren't either. Simps have learned, have wise. Simps have wise are getting pretty wise, so. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to stay in Karenville over here. Maybe I can disturb a couple people. But yeah, guys, they're in trouble. They're in real big trouble. And uh, they're out of control. Their out of control behavior is going to culminate to essentially um, push simps over the edge. Simps are going to say enough is enough. You mark my words, guys. Simps are going to start. Guys, they're already holding women more and more accountable. I'm reading about it in the news. It's it's going to take time, but after it, simps start holding them accountable, they're really not going to have any recourse but to um, start, you know, fixing things. But that's going to take a couple of generations. Until then, we got to keep doing what we're doing. Let them fail. Let them fall flat on their faces. <laughs> it, it is very... It, and by the way, we should be entertained the whole time that they're you know behaving this way it's going to be pure entertainment so <laughs> shorter stream today guys as always entertaining support this channel help me help you get it together let's get going let's have fun and uh yeah guys stay on your purpose stay focused i'm gonna keep kicking ass until next time gentlemen definitely watching you let's get to it